Two court hearings today could affect thousands of teachers and health care workers. Decisions could come soon on whether they must get the COVID vaccine to keep their jobs. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports from Lower Manhattan. City officials and union reps filed into 80 Center Street this morning to hash out a decision on vaccine mandates. More than a month ago, Mayor de Blasio said all teachers must get the shot by September 27th or lose their jobs. The state said the same for healthcare workers. When we had the COVID um, outbreak, it was very, very scary. You know, even for us, the healthcare workers, you know, it was scary. So I think people should be vaccinated. But many disagreed. 17 healthcare workers filed lawsuits and several municipal unions sued the city, saying the mandate violates constitutional rights. In separate court rulings, judges temporarily halted the mandatory vaccines until today. This morning at his daily briefing, the mayor seemed confident he'll get his way. Everyone understands what happens if you're not vaccinated in time, what the penalties are. Uh, I don't expect a lot of people want to experience those penalties. The United Federation of Teachers says while it believes members should get the vaccine, they don't believe it should be a condition of employment. I think there are probably alternatives for that, that they can uh, uh, get tested consistently. There should be a happy medium. I know that there's been often testing, you know, weekly testing, I think is a is a way that you can probably get around this to make sure to ensure everyone's safety. The city says the latest numbers show 87% of teachers are already vaccinated, but there have been some staffing concerns if employees refuse to get the shot, not having enough teachers or substitute teachers or healthcare staff in hospitals. Last week, Governor Kathy Hochul said hospital officials are prepared. It's the smart thing to do. We have to continue the mandates. I will make sure that we have the resources and people are required to have temporary staffing plans. We're told a decision could come today, latest tomorrow. We'll have all the details coming up for you at 5 o'clock. In Lower Manhattan, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.